black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, today we take a trip down McMemory Lane and bring back the Big Extra. This was one of my favorite burgers back in the day, but McDonald's has since discontinued it. It's basically the rival or McDonald's version of a Whopper. So let's eat it. I'm so excited for this. All right, pop the top on our drink here today. I went with something I haven't gone with in a long, long time. I have the orange Fruitopia, okay? Not Fanta, Fruitopia. I'm pretty sure in the States, the Fruitopia got discontinued somewhere along the way, but uh, we still have the Fruitopia here. We'll uh, pour these fries, because why not just do it like that? We don't need this now, do we? We'll bring in our sweet and sour for dipping. Two sweet and sours and a ketchup packet from McDonald's put into the ramekin. And then we have the crown jewel, which will take off its stand and bring you in for a real thing cam. A double quarter pounder. No cheese, dressed like a Whopper. I'm gonna have to go ahead and just get right into this for a big juicy bite right off the tippy top but there it is it's got pickles onions as well ketchup mayo lettuce tomato oh, can't wait i even added my own fr fresh cracked pepper Juicy butt, because I distinctly remember the patty on the big extra being extra peppery, or there was like a specific big extra seasoning. But oh man, it was that delicious. Not at all like a Whopper. Same ingredients. Way different taste in my opinion. Grab a few saucy fry bites. That sweet and sour drizzle, that drip. Mm. McDonald's did come out with a new barbecue sauce. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but it's trash. Always go with the classic. Can't be beat. The new one smells like armpits. It's very mesquite. Which I ain't really down for. St stinky grandpa barbecue, you know? You know what I'm talking about. Freshen up the palate with that orange Fruitopia, you see there? A very delicious drink that I rarely get at McDick's, but it's not really carbonated, so it goes down super smooth.
And just like their sweet and sour sauce, their ketchup is unique. I feel as if no other ketchup that you buy and use tastes quite like it. Even though I thought it, I thought it was manufactured by Heinz, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. But yeah, as far as uh, replicating this order, you just get a double quarter pounder, no cheese, which they have as an option at McDonald's as a meal. Order no mustard. Because the mustard will taint it. It's an ingredient that shouldn't be there. I got extra pickles. I just remember the pickles being a necessary ingredient. In the big extra eating experience, could go single patty because that's what a big extra was. Single patty. But I was just really hungry and wanted a double. That's definitely the main difference though is McDonald's patties to a Burger King patty is obviously just so different in terms of flavor and even texture. McDonald's just has a different, uh, like a softer crumbly fall apart type patty. A little juicier, you might say. Whereas Burger King is definitely a drier. More firm patty. But this is a good, good throwback experience. I think in order to make it more accurate though, I should have went one patty. Would have more, uh, more even ratios. Still so good though. It's just been so long since I've had one. And I was just thinking about it. I looked it up on like Google and was looking at from way back in the day all the pictures of it. I was like, I gotta make that. But yeah, that's what's up. It used to be uh, the Monday meal as McDonald's used to have value meals at each day of the week.
and the featured meal that day would be kind of at a discount, I guess. Just to be able to get not quite this meal, but a single patty and a drink, medium fry, or large. Well, even if you larged it, I think it came to still under five bucks. Back when life was affordable. Because <laughs> it looks as if we're being priced out of existence. It would seem. By the looks of things. Because that meal was $16. Just something I needed to scratch off my crave list. I've just been thinking about that for like a week and uh, pulled the trigger. So maybe you'll try it. Maybe you won't. I don't know. Regardless of that, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.